in, have a seat. Do you have your Southern card? Yes. She forgetting something? Oh, did I need my most recent meet and three receipt? Because I was told on the way in that yes, I- Yes, ma'am. <laughs> not sure I can renew that Southern card if we are not up to date on our manners. Renew? Yes. You've been living here in the South for about a year now, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, how would you rate your performance over this past year on a scale of one to 10? With one being a possum darting across the road and 10 being Dolly Parton. Okay. Um, well, uh, I don't know. Um, a seven? Oh, and Andy McDowell. Well, that seems a little generous given the data. The data? Let's see. Rejected Granny's invitation for supper approximately four times. Is four times really that many over the course of a whole year? She invited me every single week. Did not speak to fellow passenger in the elevator at the doctor's office on February 7th. I was deathly ill that day. I lost my voice. I didn't even speak to my own mom. Did not speak to own mother for nine days in February. Of course, there's a record of that. Is there a chance for me to prove that I performed well as a Southerner? Oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> well, look at that. I just got another note for your file. You didn't give the man in the Mazda Miata a courtesy wave when he let you in to make a left turn on Woodruff Road today. Ooh, well, that man is practically a saint. I did wave at him. He probably just didn't see me because his car is like, it's a Miata. Mr. McGill, can you please remain calm? No one's revoked your Southern card. Yet. Well, it looks like you brought homemade dessert to every potluck you attended. And of those six desserts, four were banana pudding. That's commendable. Thank you. It also says here your baby had a monogrammed bubble for every special occasion this year. That's right. Now, was that your doing or your wife's? Well, since I pride myself on working well with others, I'd like to think of it as a team effort. And nobody loves a complicated baby outfit more than this guy. The more buttons, the merrier, I always say, if everybody's- So, Mr. McGill, your technical skills are exceeding expectations, but your interpersonal skills have room for improvement. Do you have a plan to correct this? Well, I can definitely try. Oh, well, Kate never could, honey. Without a concrete plan of action, I am afraid I'm going to have to suspend your Southern card. What? No, no, wait, 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 please, please, please. I had to live in Vermont for a few years. I can't go back there. I'll freeze. What if I order sweet tea for every meal for the rest of my life? Or I could get every SEC mascot tattooed to my torso. Well, that would just be weird. <laughs> Can't be a real SEC fan unless you hate at least one of the teams. Now, there is one other option. We could call in a character witness. A character witness? Yeah, someone to attest, you know, whether or not you're a decent Southerner when you're not road raging. Wait. <laughs> Kaylee, could you send her in, please? Hey. Hi, Barb. It's so good to see you. They've got you defending the reputation of everyone in this town. Happy to be of service. Now, tell me. How well do you know this applicant? Oh, since he was knee-high to a grasshopper, sitting on my kitchen floor, pulling all those bowls out of the kitchen cabinets. He was such a cute little boy. And how about now? He's still a real cutie pie when I actually get to see him. Come on, Granny, I see you all the time. In your opinion, has he maintained the code of conduct of an upstanding Southern citizen? Are you going to help me with my Christmas wrapping this year? Last year, I asked you to come over and eat cookies and wrap presents, and you said you were too busy. <gasps> of course. And then there's the issue of my TV setup. I bought a new TV months ago, and you have not been by to help me yet set it up. Now that is alarming, Mr. McGill. And can I mention the lack of a thank you note for your birthday gift of the towel warmer? No thank you note. That is a luxurious gift. No, I thanked you in person when you drove over to my house and brought it up to my bathroom. But I did not get a phone call from you to tell me how cozy you were in the Turkish terry cloth that I gave you also. I've changed my mind. He's guilty. This isn't a trial. Revoke his Southern card. He even eats Miracle Whip instead of real mayonnaise. That was one time and you never let me live it down. Okay, I've heard enough. Mr. McGill, I'm afraid we're going to have to place you on probation until you've completed at least 10 hours of community service. Community service? To her? Make it 20. Done. Your probation officer will let me know when you've completed your service. What's this? Oh, if you come back 10 years in a row, you get a free mosquito repellent candle. Do those work? Not really. Okay, well, thank you. And Granny, I guess I'll be by this afternoon to help you with that TV. About time. You 
for a hoot and a half, you really had him squirming. I can't believe he bought it. Oh, I know. Gosh, even his southern cards were real. It's not like we turned anyone away. I can't thank you enough. I have so many errands to run this week. Oh, and I hate getting out in traffic. Well, your probationer awaits. <laughs> <laughs> it was turned weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was doing good, but... Is there a chance for me to prove that I performed well as a southerner of the... Of the what? It's a Miata. It's like a, like a hamburger. <laughs> you work for the railroad. 